Hello everybody and welcome back to Stellaris, where we are currently attempting to finish off what's left of the Alvanian Void Riders. We have done huge amounts of damage to them, but they also damaged our fleets pretty, pretty extensively. So, that's a, a wee bit unfortunate. We've also gone up to three shipyards, so that we have shipyards in some of our more far-flung far areas. We may also end up building one up here somewhere, since there's only the hyperlane there and there to get across. I don't know. Um, there is a wormhole there. That might be a decent complete. option as well. And if I recall correctly, there is also a stargate up there somewhere. I'm not sure exactly where. But this construction ship isn't doing anything, which, that's no good. We definitely want it to be constructing, because we need to grab this system, ASAP. Chelub, just so that the authority of Mishri can't continue to expand in this arm. Construction complete. Once we have this, like, halfway in circle here, then we're pretty much fine with whatever they want to do. If they want to go this way, that's fine. We'll take it eventually. This construction ship is not currently constructioning, which isn't good. We will go grab this system, which is not ideal, but our science ship is still a long ways away. And I'm not entirely clear why it's taking this detour. Science division report success. Not sure. Regenerative hell to hell tissue. <laughs> okay, I I guess I guess our ships are made out of hell now. We got that researched purely from the uh, purely from the special projects in this system, so uh, we don't actually have a new research to put in, which is a bit unfortunate, but it's fine. Now with the regenerative hull tissue, do we want to put that on any of our ships? I feel like the answer is maybe. Maybe we get rid of the afterburners on our larger ships and just stick in the regenerative hull tissue. It won't restore armor, but it would restore hull integrity. Yeah, maybe. Something like that. That wouldn't be the worst. And then we'll leave our destroyers with an auxiliary fire control and our corvettes with afterburners. Just to keep their evasion chance up high. There we go. That should be good. We will, of course, need to upgrade our our fleets. So we'll go ahead and upgrade this one since it's right at the shipyard anyway. And then this one, it'll take a little bit of time to get to the shipyard. Apparently it's going all the way back. Uh, let's, uh, let's base it out of Chi Draconis. There we go. Still going all the way back. Hmm. Well, we'll still just, we'll, we'll stick it at Chi Draconis, and we'll see what comes of it. Ships it it might be because there's currently complete. a lot of stuff queued in Chi, Dr Chi Draconis. That's probably what it is. We'll get service umbilicals built here as well. There we go. And then this fleet should be pretty much good to go. Yeah, looks like it is. So we will get it Science heading down here toward, towards Zulbix Maw. Construction complete. Excellent. And yeah, this looks pretty Science pretty weak here. Reports a new breakthrough. Now, we can grab ourselves combat variable mitigation at this point and grab that fleet command limit and fire rate increase. And so we shall. Excellent. And we can get an ascension perk. Hmm, what do we want to go for? Colossus Project is always funny. Defender of the Galaxy. I mean, that makes sense for, for Robo Edgelords. What could go wrong with that? Starbase Influence and Claim Influence cost reduction. I mean, that'd be nice. Starbase Capacity up. Starbase Damage, Defense Platform Damage, and Defense Platforms plus 5. That's actually really solid. Damage to Fallen and Awaken Empires. 
Hmm. I mean, it is a little surprising we haven't had a Fallen Empire wake up yet. I feel like we take Galactic Contender. Just on the off chance that one wakes up and decides to subjugate us. Okay, we got Gravitic Sensors. We can grab ourselves an engineering one, but we'll do that in a sec, because we did just get Titans unlocked. Modeled after the hulking shadows looming in the core systems of stagnant ascendancies, the Titan class can be outfitted with X-size weapons. Excellent. Starbase upgrade cost and upgrade speed. That'll save us a lot of money. We'll go ahead and do that. And let's also hop into the ship designer and design ourselves a Titan, shall we? So Titan bow is the only option there. Titan core is the only option there. Titan stern is the only option there. Shield dampener, nanobot cloud, targeting grid, defensive aura, fire rate increase. Okay. So we can swap this based on what we need. For right now, this nanobot cloud looks pretty pretty enticing. And if we were actually attacking things, the firing rate, maybe we'll just go for that. Okay, so this is a T-size perdition beam. A massive array of linked energy amplification conduits that fires a beam of unprecedented firepower. So, it's not so great against shields, but it's really good against armor and hull, and it does 5,000 to 10,000 damage, so 293 points a day. Well, we'll stick it on, for sure. And then... Compare that to the advanced railguns, which has which which deal 30 damage per day. <laughs> Gravitic sensors, impulse thrusters, yep, that's all good. We'll need to upgrade some of these things. Um, it it will stay at artillery range, range of 250 on that. So advanced railguns will be good. We'll just outfit all with advanced railguns. For just right now, real quick. Plasma cannons have a range of 80. Kinetic batteries... Now, kinetic batteries are probably just better for us, actually, here. So we'll go ahead and stick those on. And then we'll put on maybe two plasma cannons. They're just barely in range where this guy will be hanging out. But... They are more effective against armor, so we would let we would let our kinetic batteries burst through the shields, and then have something like that. And then defensively, obviously these should be hyper shields, like that. And then these should be dura steel armor, just so that we have. A pretty decent, pretty decent armor system going on. So there we go, there's that. We can also upgrade all of these guys to Gravitic Sensors. It looks like they auto-upgraded. So that's good. Okay, you're still on your way to Chi Draconis. Let's go ahead and hop into the Fleet Manager. And for each of these, we will add a ship design to the fleet. A Titan. There we go. Add a ship design to fleet, a Titan. How many how many uh, fleet cap is that? 16. It's pretty intense. So that would be, what, 320. We have the naval cap to build up to our complete max. And so we shall. We'll take this up to 15, this up to 30. That up to 17. 29, 30, 17. There we go. And then we just reinforce it all. We can't afford to build them titans yet, it would appear. 
but this will be fine. I can think of nothing wrong with this. <laughs> nothing whatsoever. Other than the fact that many of our shipyards are not particularly online yet. But we're going to go ahead and grab service umbilicals here once we can. Actually, here. I keep selecting the wrong one. There we go. Excellent. And we are constructing rather quickly, ultimately. We are going to need this to be upgraded to a starport. And so we shall. Construction complete. There we go. This station is good to Battle go. Secured. Of course, it will be quite a while before we, we have this all complete. surveyed, but it looks like there's some really solid minerals in this system, so that'll be great. Absolutely fantastic, even. Okay, Gamma Draconis, you are currently not building anything. It costs 3,000 and can only build out of citadels. Oh, and the starbase has to have Titan assembly yards. Okay, I didn't know that. I feel like instead of the hyperlane registrar then, we have Titan assembly yards. At least here. Not sure about anywhere else. Okay, and then you need to go ahead and build your stations here. That's where that automated dreadnought is. We'll need to take care of that too. And then you can't actually do that. There we go. Battle debris secured. And now for some reason, the cat has decided that right now is absolutely the time when she needs to get out. So, one second. This is a glorious starfield. Look at that. I don't know why she decides she needs out immediately right then and will start yelling if I don't let her out immediately, but this is the case. She absolutely will just yell and scream until I let her out. So I figured this is probably the easiest way to do it. Certainly not the, Recon the best completed. way, but it's the Battle easiest. And that, ultimately, is what we're going for. Okay, so, that's this construction ship. What do we have for upgrades? Nothing, actually. Okay. Construction How long on your Titan assembly yards? Still a while. I do wonder what the actual military power of those Titans will be. Pretty significant is my guess, considering that they cost like twice as much as a battleship. Oh, <laughs> we forgot to put components on here. We are definitely putting an auxiliary fire control on, and a regenerative hull tissue. If we had shield capacitors, we'd put that on too, just to protect this monster. But we don't. So instead, I feel like... We'll put on a second auxiliary fire control for now. Just to give it better aim. There we go. And this construction ship is not constructioning. Well, that's no good. We want it to be constructioning, so now it's constructioning. Excellent. Okay, you have completed your upgrade. We'll need you to, to both upgrade to Star Fortress next. There we go. And we have a little over a year on our Titan assembly yards. So that's okay. Anomaly found. Yeah, this uh this is pretty much as expected. You researching that anomaly? Yes, you're researching the anomaly. Good. Yeah, pretty much as expected with the huge amount of minerals here. 
I um, I'm just kind of wondering what's going on here. Why are there two things that are in the same place? I mean, I'm not, I, I'm not gonna complain, but automated mining base built in close orbit around a asteroid 49F009. There are large chunks of the hull missing. The jagged holes indicative of heavy weapons damage. The station is beyond repair, but salvaging will provide us with minerals. Excellent. Already 20 minerals in this system. Dragon's Horde, Dragon's Brood. As our mining station orbiting Dragon's Horde was repositioning to align with a particularly rich mineral vein, sensors picked up that something had hitherto gone undetected. An undamaged ether drake egg, in pristine condition, buried beneath the surface of the planetoid and surrounded by the smashed shells of several less for fortunate specimens. The egg has been excavated and removed from the mining site, but its ultimate fate remains undecided. So we could either hatch ourselves a drake, or smash the egg and gain 300 influence. I mean, 300 influence isn't that much. Let's try out the incubation. W worst case scenario, we lose a little bit of stuff and we just have to go kill another ether drake. New sit rep. So let's give it a go. What do we need for this? 5,000 society research? Okay. Seven months worth of society re research? That's not too, too bad. We do have this shipyard here, of course. Oh yes, we have ion cannons now. We need to decide how many defense platforms versus ion cannons we put on. Ion cannons essentially have Titan-class weaponry. Then we'd stick on top tier of these. I'm not sure if there's actually a limit to how many can go. Missing five slots. Okay, so... 12 out of 23. I wonder how many slots this thing actually takes up. It doesn't seem to say. We'll build one here, and we'll find out. Okay, so... If we get an Aether Drake, what do we do with it? <laughs> That's the question. I don't know. I've never actually gotten that event before either. Was not expecting complete. that. Your construction is indeed complete. We need you to go grab this. ASAP. There we go. I'm not sure what exactly you're doing. You can wander off to go do whatever it is science ships usually do when they're not at my beck and call. So you need at least a citadel to build ion cannons. Recon pass completed. Maybe we build one ion cannon and then the rest defense platforms. I feel like that's probably what was intended. Okay, so that is quite the valuable system indeed. We are definitely claiming that. Excellent. Yeah, there is a hyperspace lane there. Just double checking that. Excellent. And we will just go ahead and get started on that. Fantastic. And we're, we're leaving this science ship here because we're going to go take these guys out relatively quickly. You should be able to just upgrade right there, and indeed you can. We can't reinforce the fleet yet because we need titans. Yep, we simply cannot reinforce yet. Society Research Unit. Special project oh, complete. hang on, hang on. Ooh, hear me roar achievement. Hatch the egg. Excellent. Society Research Unit 
Unit N2 has ceased functioning. It has been noticed that the liquid compound Unit N2 was experienced on needed to be tightly temperature controlled, as its fumes are aggressively corroded. Okay, so we need to grab ourselves a new society researcher. None of these guys are particularly good society researchers. Um, this guy isn't bad with the expertise on statecraft. Although this guy has the expertise on biology and statecraft. Yeah, I feel like we recruit this guy. We reassign this. And then other science ship we assign in unit X7. Like so. Construction complete. Okay, the egg hatches. A dragon roars. Young Ether Drake Skyle joins the fleets of the Exterminator Hub. Okay. So this guy. He is considered a Titan. What's he actually got on him? We can make no sense of the strange vessel. Excellent. <laughs> so we don't know what he actually does. But we've got ourselves an immature Ether Drake. Maybe he'll mature? He's certainly fast. There's no doubt about that. He's only... He's only worth 8k. Well, maybe we should send him down here and use him against these guys as our titan here. And only build a titan for this. So, uh, go into the fleet manager. And for Legion 01, I believe, because you are... Yeah, you're Legion 02. We'll remove the titan here. And then just do that, and then we'll merge these two together. He should actually catch up pretty quick, because he's really, really fast. Construction complete. Or not. Merge. No? He doesn't want to merge. Why doesn't he want to merge? You gotta be a team player, Ether Drake. That's the only way this works out. Otherwise, I'm just gonna disband you. <laughs> and wish that I had taken the 300 influence instead. Boy, howdy is he fast, though. Look at that. He is just booking it. Well, that should be just fine. We do need to keep upgrading our star bases. However, our Titan assembly yard is just about complete here. 100 more Science days. Science division report success. Power plant 4 and 5 also unlocked. We could grab arc emitters of X size. 80.3 damage per day. That's not too too bad. Advanced combat rolls would be good too. Let's go ahead and go for that. And this science ship we do still need down here. This construction ship should be constructioning. There we go. And we'll just go ahead and move over here. Excellent. Once we've finished taking out Alvania, then we'll come up here, take out the curators here, and take out this automated dreadnought. We will also need to spend about a billion minerals upgrading our energy production which is good it'll need to happen because I imagine these Titans will not be cheap to maintain there we go excellent that's um <laughs> that's a lot of things to upgrade 
We aren't going to run out of minerals this time, though, it looks like. So that's good. Off you go. Upgrade all the things. Once again, though, this is one of those scenarios where I wish there was a right-click contextual menu. Upgrade all buildings. Unfortunately, there is not. And so, this tedium, it is. There we go. Have to click all the little things. Fantastic. Well, I think I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in here. I will, in between episodes, finish upgrading all of these so that we don't have to sit through me doing all of that. And I will see you all next time.